What is up YouTube, Flourish RLC, and after winning another Super Bowl, I decided to spend a little bit of coins, and here's going to be the team right now. We still got Mariota, AP, Brian Finner, and the boys, but we decided to beef up the offensive line. The first thing I did was I went and got Tyrone Smith. You can see 93 run block, 91 pass block, and 89 impact block. This dude's got some pretty mean stats, uh, and you know, so can't wait to play with him. He's also got you know good speed, or at least compared to um, Kelvin Beecham. So I can't wait to play with this guy. Um, you know, show you guys how good this offensive line is now, because that's definitely something I really wanted to do. I wanted to beef up the, off the offensive line. That's what I did. I also got Travis Frederick, a good center and a run behind. 96 run block, 88 pass block, 95 impact block. You can see the upgrade compared to Brian De La Puente, who um, he's replacing now. So hopefully that'll work out good. And then we also got Brandon Brooks as our new right guard. 95 run block, 80 pass block, and 84 impact block. Not that great, but still, that's really good run block. And hopefully he can um, help our run game a little bit. And that's it on the offensive side. On the defense... And then on the defense, we got 90 overall limited edition team of the week. Jamie Collins, 88 speed, 91 excel, 94 tackle, 86 play rec, 82 block shed, 95 pursuit, and 91 hit power. This dude is a beast. 73 catching as well, and um, 94 tackle, 95 jump, a great user as well. And, you know, he's got some pretty solid zone coverage, you know, he's, you know, um, 88 zone, which is fantastic. Some good block shed. So an all-around great card with Jamie Collins. So I also got this rising star, Ryan Shea. Got him at the end of the playoffs um, last season. I got him because he's got 92 speed. So you're going to see me using with this beast a lot to go ahead with Bobby Wagner. He's got 87 speed. Derek Johnson, he's actually going to be our number three linebacker uh, because he goes for like 10K. So there's really no point in selling him, to be honest. So, we got, so we're building up the linebacking core as well. Now you also might have noticed down here on the defensive line, we got Gilbert Brown, 92 overall. And I got him mainly, now I could have gotten John Randall, but Gilbert Brown's got 96 play rec, and I'm hoping that that play rec is really going to help um, him be able to detect screens, play action. Just I'm just hoping that his play rec will all around be able to read plays, and he'll just be able to get back there in the backfield with 96 block shed, 94 power move, 95 tackle, 96 strength. This dude's got some pretty mean stats all around. 92 Gilbert Brown, a beast, and uh, can't wait to see what that play rec does for us. Now, our playmaker, Pat Pete, is no longer an 88 overall, so we still got J um, Joe Hayden, Sean Smith, Demarius Randall, Desmond Trufant, and Marcus Peters. And that's pretty much the team, guys. So uh, let's get right into the first game with these beasts. All right, guys, so we're into the game. New season, and we got some new players. I actually decided to spend some coins. Can one, cannot wait to see how the offensive line performs because I got those three elite offensive linemen, and I'm hoping that they can do me some good. Lately, I've been just rocking with the gold linemen, and then, you know, it's been okay, but I expect my run game to be even better this year. So, we're out here on defense first, which is just the way I like it. We get ball at half. I'm using the Buffalo Bills uniforms, and he's going to the flats here on the first few plays, and he's got that rising star, Carlos Hyde. I've been thinking about getting that card, but, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I got Drive Champions AP, but um, if I should get that Rising Star, Carlos Hyde, uh, just let me know because that would be a big coin difference um, from Carlos Hyde to 91 AP, you know. So if they can do the same things, then I'd be, I'd be happy to get Carlos Hyde. So my opponent's got Journey, Jameis Winston. Now, that Jameis Winston is so ridiculously cheap. You know, I mean, rightfully so, because the journey solos aren't very hard to do. I mean, you know, it takes a while. It's like 160 games, but you can pretty much knock them out in like a weekend. And look at this right here. He's just behind the back catch. Come on, Shazier. You got to get that. You got to do something, man. And then Carlos Hyde, he's just got the speed, and I don't have the users, and he's going to score an easy touchdown on that play. So the first drive of the game for my opponent, he scores a big touchdown. So all we got to do is we got to come out. We got to answer back and not play stupid, because lately, my last few videos... You, you guys know I haven't been playing too good. I've been kind of playing dumb out here, so hopefully we can fix that. And the run game isn't going to go anywhere on that play. You know, runs are just, they're kind of just, sometimes they're on, sometimes they're off. It's really, really weird. And on this play, this was the dumbest pass I think I could have ever thrown. He was, like, he was right there, and I shouldn't have thrown that. So that was a really bad pass. So now he's got the ball in gray field position, a chance to take a 14-0 to, to zero lead. 
Now, we do get ball at half again, which is great. But uh, just, you know, bend, don't break defense right here. Or if we can even get lucky and get a turnover. But right now, I'm focusing on not giving up a first down. Holding him to just three. I'll definitely take that. He's going to pick up a first down here again. Just eating me up with these short underneath routes that I'm not really covering t too well. And, you know, hey, you know, if I'm going to give it to him, then he should just take it. You know, I'm not going to complain about someone doing something that I can stop, but I'm just not stopping. So, He's set with a third down and goal now, and he's just going to throw it into the end zone, but it's going to be knocked out of his hands incomplete. So that brings up a fourth down. He's going to kick a field goal, still takes a two-possession lead, but we still got three and a half minutes left until half. That's a whole lot of time in, in mutt. So we just got to score, stop him bef you know, before um, before halftime, get the ball back, take the lead, and look at Tavon Austin trying to get a nice kick return here. I'll take a good kick return out to the 43. That's definitely better than starting at the 20. Try to go with a little pitch here to AP, and Adrian Peterson, he's got some space. AP down the sidelines, but he's going to be caught. But and Actually, that's not AP. That's Giovanni Bernard. Excuse me. Sorry, little Gio. Now, if you didn't see the Bengals and Chiefs game, as he scored there with Brian Finneran. Little Geo was, he ran all over the Chiefs defense. I was kind of upset, but then again, I wasn't too mad because, you know, I mean, I like Giovanni Bernard, but still, yeah, the Chiefs, they're kind of sort of horrible. And then he throws an ill-advised pass, and it gets picked off by Glover Quinn. So just like that, we have a chance to take the lead before half and get ball at half. That is huge, all right? At first, I was playing to get the ball at half down by a field goal and then score, but now I have a chance to take the lead going into half. Right before the two-minute warning, we just take off with Mario to pick up the easy first down. It just... Picking up a first down is really crucial, and then he gets a conservative tackle. If he did if no suction tackle, I'm taking that one all the way to the house. I'm just saying. Second down and one, just another little short dump off pass to Levine Toilolo. Toilo I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to give him anything to pick off with his users. All right, this dude's got you know some pretty good user skills, even though. I kind of think that in Madden now, it's not really that hard to user. I mean, user is a lot easier than it used to be. So I'm trying to just keep it away from him. We get the nice possession catch there with Travis Kelsey. First down and goal from the four. We're going to find Kelsey again, but we're just down to the one. I'm okay with that. Chew up a little bit more clock. Mariota QB sneaking it into the end zone. So we're actually going to take the lead going into half. That's a huge momentum swing because, like I said at first, I was just playing to go into half down by a field goal. Now I'm going into half with a four-point lead. So, you know, naturally, I think I put on shoe clock um, at, at this point. You know, I mean... Actually, I didn't. Never mind. So go to the little PA end around here, Marriott. And we're going to be sacked on that play by Dante Whitner. Third down and 14. We're trying to throw some verticals. And I just I just lob it up to Perryman. And he's got it. How long did he have the ball in his hands before he dropped it? Like, that's so garbage, man. Come on, EA. All right, whatever. We just got to come out here. Got to play some d defense. We went three and out. Our offense was horrible, that drive. And, uh-oh, look at Cordell Patterson. Patterson trying to get a good punt return of his own. So, he's got the ball. He's already at midfield pretty much. And so, he has a chance to take the lead right back from us. But, again, a tackling cheese, man. You know, the freaking suction tackles, you know, um... They can really win you or lose you games. It just, you know, really depends. As Gilbert Brown gets the sack there, pushing him back to a fourth and 14. And naturally, because it's Madden, he's going to go for it. Um, I mean, I guess, you know, it was okay to go for it in this situation. But it's not even, he didn't even throw it past the sticks. I mean, if you're going to try to go for it, you could at least try to throw it past the sticks. I'm just saying. So, nice underneath route to Travis Kelsey, picking us up another first down. We put on two clock, and I want to get out of here with the win. We handed it off to AP and Adrian Peterson. He's going to try to pick up a few yards. Now, spin... I feel like spinning sometimes, like, screws me over. Like, you know, if you guys saw my second episode of my Connected f Franchise, no, it was, I think it was the first, I tried to spin with Tebow as I got a first down, and then it completely just pushed me back the other way. So spins actually sometimes uh, screw me over more than they help me. But we pick up a big first down there. So, again, we're just trying to chew down a little bit more clock right at the two-minute warning. We score the touchdown. Now we're up 21-10. to 10. That's huge, man. He hasn't scored since pretty much the first quarter of the game. That's that's pretty big, right? So a 21-point swing, but he still has two minutes. A quick score right here, maybe gets a turnover, gets an onside kick, and he's in business here. So pretty much, again, it's bend, don't break, defense. I'm playing a little bit of prevent. Don't give up the big play. On you know, We're not really succeeding at that as we give up like a 20-yard play right there. But again, pretty much I'm like, don't give up the big play. If he wants to kind of dink and dunk down the field, take his time, I'm okay with that. But just don't give up the big play because when you're down in Madden, that's what people look for. They look for the big plays. And a lot of people in Madden are fairly predictable. 
So I was just playing for the big play because I expected this guy to just try to toss it up and get lucky, you know, like face catches. So I was playing for that. But this guy, he was taking what I was giving him, and ooh, that should have been game. If Trufant picks that off, that's game right there. But he still is alive with a minute 11 left, and he picks up a first down there again. This dude's doing a really good job at dinking and Duncan getting it down the field, but he's got to be a little bit quicker. He throws it up, and Chase Kaufman with the amazing catch scores him the touchdown, and suddenly he's in business. He gets an onside kick. You know, first he's going to go for two and make it a three-point game, but Glover Quinn swats that ball down to the onside kick to win the game, and he's not going to get it. But he still has two timeouts, so we will still have to give the ball back to him. We don't pick up a first down. On second and six, our run gets stuffed, so he takes his last timeout. So now he will get the ball back. If we don't pick up a first down. But how much time will he have? We're just going to go and kick a field goal. He's going to have pretty much five seconds left. He didn't even do anything with it. I think I squib kicked it. Or like onside kicked it. And it um, chewed up the rest of the time. So we get out of here with the win. The debut of the new team. I hope you guys like the new team. I actually spent some coins. Right? I actually spent some coins this time. I didn't. I wasn't cheap. Um, Jamie Collins didn't make any plays. It's weird. I feel like my left outside linebackers... Or no, my right outside linebackers, I feel like they, they just don't make plays. Like, you know, even when I'm in 3-4 uh, or 4-3, just my left outside or my right outside linebackers, wow. My right outside linebackers, they literally just don't make plays. I don't know why, but I never see my right outside linebacker making a difference in the game like ever. So uh, Jamie Collins didn't do anything. Derek Brooks, he never did anything. That's why we sold him. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm Fluttershy. Again, be sure to comment below any suggestions to upgrade the team. Again, this team is just as much mine as it is yours. I want you guys to help me upgrade this team, and hopefully we can reach a 99, unlike last year where we were at, where we were at a 98 for like three months. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Fluttershy. Peace out, and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.